Welcome to my day 26 of 31 challenges, 31 videos, 31 days. Today I'm making a card um, using a Tattered Angels stamp that's in the shape of a key. I got it as a promo um, at Archivers. I got a free bottle of Glimmer Mist in the stamp as a promo. So I know you can buy this key with a set of their stamps. I just don't know which one it is. I'm stamping it on the craft card base in Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And then I've got some Ranger Blue Pearl Embossing Powder that I've had forever. Um, so I don't know if it's still available. Possibly. It's really pretty. It's really pearly. and just has just the barest of blue tint to it. You'll see in just a second. Anyway, Distress Ink is great for embossing so you don't have to use another ink over it or anything because it stays wet for so long. Just tapping off my excess embossing powder. I didn't tap hard enough, so I'm wiping off some of it. And now I've got my heat tool out. And you'll see it almost looks clear. Um, it's almost clear. It just has this pearly blue sheen to it. And it's going to make the ink look a little bit different. This ink is almost, it's a purpley shade of pink, but it's more pink. I thought when I bought it, it was going to be more purple, but really pretty color and it turned out really nice on the cardstock. This is taking longer than thought it would, sorry. Okay, so now I'm using some paper. It's a die cut sheet of paper for making memories. It also came is a promo uh, from Archivers, so I'm not sure what collection it goes with. I never really saw the collection that I thought that it went with, but I got it. It's little 8x8 eight eight pieces of paper, and I've just cut a corner off of one sheet to use on my card. It's really pretty. It's pink and cream with black lines on it. And so I'm going to put that at the top of my card. And like I said, the paper came die cut that way. I didn't cut it. And it's not paper pieced together or anything. And I had cut it so that it was almost the perfect size for my card, but I'm going to have to clip um, the little spiky edges sticking out. I'm just going to turn the card over and trim that with my scissors. And that's the easy way, because if I trim from the front, then I usually wind up cutting the card, and then I have to start over, put some extra embellishments on. I have a bag that I keep uh, nearby full of remnant trim pieces, so I went through that to find the trim for the top of the card. First I'm going to round the bottom corners with my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper, and I used the quarter inch and then decided that it looked funny on a card this big. The card's 5x7, so then I used the half inch and that looked just right. And I like to do just two corners rather than the four. So this actually, this trim, it used to be on a piece of fabric that had ruffles all over it. Sorry, my dog is being hilarious in the background. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's breathing really loud. So it used to be a ruffledy piece of fabric, and I cut a bunch of ruffles off to use in my crafting. And that's just a piece of one of them. I've used them on several projects. Um... And at this point, I hadn't quite decided what, what trims I was using, but since that one matched the pink, then I decided I would use it as one of them. And here I'm going to ink up the edges of my card with the Victorian Velvet. I'm sorry, my dog is breathing really loud right beside me. With the Victorian Velvet ink. So I'm just going to go around to define the edges of my card more and soften it up just a little bit because it's, it's a little stark looking right now. But um, I just use the Tim Holtz ink blending tool and that same color. And you'll see it looks really different from the stamped image, even though it's the same ink. But that's because I use that Ranger embossing powder that has the blue sheen to it. So the, the key actually looks a lot purplier, if that's a word. I just made it a word, so it's fine. I'm really liking how this is shaping up. I just... Still need to decide on some trims. I feel like I'm rambling today, sorry. So I know for sure I want this one. It's not quite as long as I want it. I'm going to figure that out in a minute. I'm going to stretch it out over the top of my card. 
and I decided to use just a wet glue because it takes me forever to decide if I'm going to use glue dots or uh, the sticky tape, but I decided to go ahead and use my scrappy glue since I'm trying to use it up. But you could also use the Tombow Mono Multi Glue or your favorite wet glue that you like for trims, but glue dots would have worked fine and uh, the super sticky tape probably would have worked really well, but I was afraid it would be too wide and show through the trim. So here I'm pulling it apart, pulling the stitching apart so that it's a little bit longer because I'd rather have it a little long and then trim it to be the correct length than for it to be just exactly barely the correct length. And I started to fold it over but then I decided to just leave it wide and to trim the top of it because it's going to be a little bit longer than I want it to go in an envelope. And after I get this affixed you'll see I'm going to decide to layer several trims. I wound up using three that kind of matched the colors that are already on my card. I'm keeping the color palette really light in pinks and creams, but with just a touch of black to make everything stand out and look pretty. Yeah, I pulled it straight and now I'm scrunching it up a little bit because it was straighter than I wanted. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but quite frequently I have to do a lot of adjusting. So here I am trimming the edges of that uh, ruffle. It's not quite as roughly, but it still looks really pretty. And now I'm going to pull out some more trim to try on the top of my card. I have this ribbon that has a ruffle at the bottom and it's in a cream color and it's actually stretchy that's it's got a little elasticity to it that's why it sprang back so hard and I like the cream color um, I think it looks really good next to the paper and I want to layer that trim with the original trim but it's a little too cream it's a little I don't know it doesn't show up quite enough for me so I decided to just pull it off real quick and use my ink blending tool. Going back into the Victorian Velvet. This is one of my favorite colors of Distress Ink. I mean, I like them all, but this is this one in particular is such a pretty pinky purpley. I guess it's really mauve, but I, I like to say that I don't like the color mauve. So I'm going to say it's pinky purple instead of mauve. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's laughing at me um, anyway so I just barely touched that to my um, trim that I picked out and I'm gonna attach it with the scrappy glue as well and I'm actually putting the scrappy glue up under the first trim because I want it to hang a little lower but not too low I just want it to peek out kind of as though it were a ruffle on a slip that you had on and it was just peeking out Maybe now I'm putting too much thought into my trims. But <laughs> so if you hear some heavy breathing, that that is my dog. Alright, so now I've got my scrappy glue on and I'm just going to tuck this up under. And like I said, the, the thought in my mind is is that it were a ruffle on a, on a skirt. We're just calling that original trim the skirt of the card. And now I'm going to choose some trim in black that's going to pop on top of that baby pink. And this is some really pretty lace. It was sent to me in a swap, so I have no idea where it came from. But it's so pretty, and I still have a piece of it left. I've been using it sparingly, but, you know, really, there's no reason to hoard lace. In the grand scheme of things, lace is not going to buy bread should I go broke or anything. So I should just use it and be happy that I've given it to someone who can appreciate it. Oh, what a wait. First I decided to use some little heart embellishments. These are little epoxy stickers. And they're actually gray. And I just put, there's three different sizes. I put one of each size over there by the key. Um, just for a little extra something. It needed a little something. I didn't want to put any bright bling because of the muted colors that I was using. And now I'm going to go and find some of that pretty black lace that I like so much. And there's actually a little flower detail on that lace. 
that makes it really special. So I'm going to layer that on top of the original trim that I put on. And the three layers are really close together, but I think that makes them a little more special because they're all right there together and just barely peek out from under one another. I think it looks really sweet. So again, I'm going to use the scrappy glue to attach the trim to one another. I was trying to decide if I could get a whole scallop in um, there on the edge and I didn't. I was going to have to cut between one, but it's okay. It looks good. It was even on both sides, or fairly even anyway. So I'm going to attach it with a scrappy glue. The scrappy glue is awesome because it dries clear and like I said, they don't make that anymore. I'm really sorry. Um, that's why I'm trying to use mine up so I'll stop using stuff people can't get in case they think they might like it, but I just ran the tiniest of beads all the way down. Um, and now I'm going to stick my black trim in there and you'll see how prettily it pops off that pink. Prettily it pops, whatever, that sounds retarded, but. Apparently I decided to do that off camera. I'm going to pull it up for you in just a second though. Here it goes, all stuck down now. Don't you like my bathrobe poking in? Doesn't everybody craft in their pajamas? It's my favorite clothes to craft in. I love that robe. It's one of those Chanel robes that looks like an old fashioned bedspread. My mother in law gave it to me. It's one of my, not my mother in law, my stepmother, my dad's wife gave it to me. It's one of my favorite things she ever gave me. So she did really good last year too. We got these little necklaces last year and then this year I like what she gave my husband. She gave him this awesome little toolkit. Okay so I'm trimming uh, the trim now. I'm trimming the trim to the top of the card so it's not sticking out so far. And That's mostly just so it'll go in the envelope and now I'm going to show you the finished card which I'm really happy with and um, I think it's cute. So thanks for watching. Again this is day 26. Um, have a great night, a great day, and a happy crafting to you all.